Good morning, Minecraft. This is Bullscat. Welcome to Amplicraft. Today we're going to be playing around a little bit with the laboratory that we were working on last time. I've made a ton of progress on it and a little bit of a, a reveal today, I guess, only because I haven't recorded anything on it in the last week and I've been working. So it's going to be pretty cool. But first of all, I want to show you guys what I just dug out here. I just made a little path between the minecarts that run out this way that um, we're going to build our own little minecart system that's going to run us out to the laboratory and I wanted to do something cool so we're going to do a bud switch activated minecart system um, and basically I'm going to try to build it fairly quickly here so that you guys don't have to sit around and listen to me in tutorial mode. Any block will do here, obviously. This is going to be the face of our room, so anything back here is not going to be seen. Basically, the, the issue here is that, or the, the what we want to happen is when this piston extends, we want this block to go over top of this redstone torch so that it can power a repeater. Whoa, getting stuck in the wall. Power the repeater here, and that's going to shoot over and go two different directions. Number one, oops, I missed it. Number one, it's going to drop down here, and it's going to power our rails over here. So let me throw those in real quick. I know I'm all over the place. This is why tutorial mode is kind of dangerous for me. All right, so basically we're going to throw a, a, a dot there and throw a repeater here so that when this comes over and powers that, it's going to send a signal through this guy. I really don't want this repeater. There we go. Set to one. This one I don't think matters. I'm going to do two because I want it to go a little quicker because of something else I'm adding to this where it's going to dispense a new minecart onto the spot after we take off so there will always be a minecart ready for us. At least that's my plan. We're going to see if it works. It should, in theory. So that's also, I said two ways. So this up here, once this powers this, is also going to go this direction and I'll go ahead and throw a third layer up there too so that's gonna power this block and we want this to power our bud switch here so when we hit this mm, let's go ahead and finish this up here first before I demonstrate uh, so this is going to power that and this is where we use our other sticky piston to go right there. So we're going to put a dot of redstone on top. Very important. Forgot that once when I made that and it took me a while to figure that out. So when we hit this now, oh my gosh, we didn't put a string in. Put the string in there and you kind of see what happens. This block comes out, which is what sends that minecart the correct direction. And you can see it lights up. So yay, it's all working. So that's basically what we want from that. And then also I'm going to throw another block or two here. And throw our detector rail maybe there. And oh, we've got a couple of rails here. So that hopefully when the minecart, only when the minecart gets sent over this, will it send a signal over here. Ding! You can tell I was kind of playing around in there before. We're going to grab this. Stick that there. Oh, we don't have any minecarts on us. This is the moment of truth. I hope this works. I've got a lot of minecarts in here. That's not going to fit. I also am going to fill, you know, hoppers and make sure there's always minecarts here. So, lots of minecarts here. We'll throw that down. Moment of truth. Ooh, got some lag too. Good. So that looked pretty good. So now we're going to run this under here. And I'm going to do four. It's either four or five repeaters that you need for this. We're going to try four. If four doesn't work, we'll try five. But I'm pretty sure it will work. All right, so that should be good there. Go ahead and grab another minecart. Stick it on there. Jump in. Please work. Yeah, baby. So that's going to work. So that'll send us off. And then when we come back, 
It's going to, the rail will curve this way and go up here and onto the fun cactus thingy that will make sure this thing's always full. So I've tried this a hundred different ways. I used to try to put it underneath to dispense up and that always tripped the bud switch so it would send the minecart on and cause all kinds of issue. There's probably a better way to do this like with most things. Somebody always seems to find a better way to do things, but this is the one that I've always used or, you know, used in the last few months and I really like this one so this is what we're going with. So I'm going to design the rest of this room out, make it look pretty, and then we're going to start our tunnel. Alright guys, I uh, came back over here by the portal here. I am going to pull some stuff out of here and show you what I'm thinking as far as the overall thing. So I need a 5x5. Five five. I've kind of cleared that out on this side. We've still got a bunch to do going that way. Like 60 some bucks <laughs> um, at least actually I think we're at 104 102 or negative 102 and we got to go all the way to positive 40 oh my gosh we have 140 blocks to go that way so anyway this is what I'm thinking because the I mean you guys haven't seen the laboratory yet we're gonna get to that later but it's a lot of iron box and kind of accented with this brown so that's what I want to do and I just wasted one in the ceiling so I think this is what I want to do and then maybe every sixth of these or so you know we'll, we got a couple more to go that way obviously throw one of these yeah I like that. I think that'll be good. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish this tunnel, digging out this tunnel, and then I'm going to build a bunch of that in. And then we'll kind of go from there. Um, I'm going to... Let's see, one, two, three. So yeah, I'm going to dig this out, and then we'll fill that in and go from there. <laughs> 